Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh My name is Ahmad Daniel bin Muhammad Tahar Today I will present to you my research project which is classification of folio scholarly using convolutional neural network Okay, this, this is the content of, the, of this slide First there is problem statement followed by problem solution, objective, scope and conclusion For the problem statement, there is three problem statement in this slide and First, there is lack of knowledge among workers to independently classify polio scholars then, the learning process of coral species also take a long time of practice and learning. Lastly, the statistical coral coverage may not be accurate when do by, do by human. So, the, for the problem solution, we use the deep learning because it can reduce time consuming and cost since no more expertise needed. And also the people who do not have knowledge on folder scholar can use this system since they have filters to process the future accordingly. And the accuracy of statistic statistical coral coverage will be improved. The objective of this research is to test and Evaluate the convolutional neural network method for classification of folio scholarly. We also to develop the prototype for classification of folio scholarly in still image. Another objective is to identify the method to be used in the classification of folio scholarly in still image. And lastly is to design and implement the method for classification of folio scholarly using convolutional neural network. Scope for this research is the system focus on classification of folio scholarly. And the data used for this system was given by Enos when we carried out an interview session with them. And also, the method used for this system is CNN in MATLAB software. So, the conclusion of the research is the use of deep learning in this system can help to reduce cost needed to hire human experts by independently learn and practice the data provided. They also increase the accuracy of coral coverage statistics. So today, I will show you um, the prototype of my system. The title of my prototype is the classification of polios in coral reef environment. This prototype has several functions here, which is browse function, the directory location, training option, reflection, and election function. Okay, first when we browse, we click this button browse. We show you to select a folder. And when we click the button OK, we will pop up the folder that we can choose which is any folder that we want. It's, I will choose the data set function because the the data input for this training is here. Okay, when, when I click that when I enter the folder it will show the location of the folder. And then the training option is here. Training option here is have two main tasks which is Weight factor and bias factor. This function is to we can select to set how much the weight factor and bias factor to be used for the training. Um, this factor gives a lot of impact for this for the efficiency of the system because 
in neural network, some inputs are provided to an artificial neuron. And with each input, a weight is associated. This weight function, when the weight increase, the steepness of motivation function um, this way increase the steepness of activation function. This means um, weight decide decide how fast the activation function will trigger. Various bias is is used to delay the triggering of the activation function. Okay. For the reflection, reflection is used for to augment the data to increase the data uh, and help to help the system to increase the efficiency of the validation for the LXNet LXNet function have three functions which is analyze to analyze the LXNet network uh, view, view image button is for view the image uh, randomly on in the dataset folder and folios is to show you the folios picture in the dataset folder okay when I click view image uh, it will show you it will show you this figure this uh, we will show you this figure which is um, the, the picture on the dataset folder taken randomly okay, when, when we click this folios button it will show you this, this folios image that has been taken on folios folder Okay, when we train, when we click this the button train, it will train the we train the the system using the data set that we provide, and it use the the weight factor and augmentation of data that we set. Then it will display the output uh, like this so I I have done the training already because it takes quite a long time to complete the training as we can see here it took 7 minutes and 41 seconds to finish the training and using LXNet network it achieved the validation accuracy as much as 93.33% and the output of the system is they provide this system this they, they provide this picture which is picture 1 this that is folios 100% and the next three picture is non folios which is already 100% so I think that's all for my presentation of the prototype okay. thank you very much